Over to you again. Spain's constitutional court has ruled a planned referendum on Catalonian independence to be illegal. The vote on the region's secession from Madrid is set for November this year, with half its population set to support the move, infuriating central government. To talk more on the issue, we are joined live by, from Barcelona by Anna Arqui from the European Partnership for Independence. It's good to have you with us. Anna, you're live on RT International. Why do you think this referendum has been deemed unconstitutional by Madrid? Hello, good day. Well, um, the Spanish uh, government opposes to recognize Catalonia sovereignty. Uh, but uh, the point is that Catalonia is a nation. And what is equally important is that Catalans, we are aware we are a nation and we know our rights. And uh, that, makes, uh, that makes, again, obvious the conflict that exists, the political conflict that exists between the Spanish state and the Catalan nation. It's not actually a situation that it's only uh, recognized by the citizenship. But also in Catalonia, there is an absolute majority in the Catalan parliament of members that are in favor of this uh, referendum. And that is why, as well, why we go to, in the 30th of March, next Sunday, we go actually to Brussels together with the Scottish, Flemish citizens of uh, Europe to actually communicate that uh, we know we are a nation and it's about democracy and we are against any opposition or any threat to the exercise of the universal right of self-determination. The reason why uh, the Spanish state uh, uses all the mechanisms to, um, to avoid democracies, uh, the practice of democracy, is because they know that, uh, that is the, stopping the referendum is the only way they have to stop probably the independence of Catalonia. So how far do you think Madrid will go to prevent this from happening? You said you're now going to take it to Brussels. Uh, the Constitution, uh, yes. the courts have said that this is unconstitutional. So it looks like Madrid is ready to keep doing this, stopping you. Well, that is actually uh, they, they call. Uh, they, they will go as far as, as, as far they want to damage their democratic image because uh, we are European uh, citizens. Actually, at the moment, there's more than 25 million of European citizens that we are living in societies in a self-determination process because we believe in democracy. So it's up to them to justify, to see, or to come and to prevent that uh, Catalans uh, vote and uh, cast their vote in a ballot box. Actually, we have to remember that in, in the Europea European Union actually was formed after the Second World War precisely uh, because uh, wisely we decided that to resolve uh, conflicts, political conflicts, we wanted to change the ballots for the ballots. So actually, uh, now is a great moment to prove that we all believe that and that ballot boxes are not any, um, any massive gun destruction. It's, they are just uh, a, me it's a mechanism to express the will, the political will of millions of citizens in a civilized and a, and a democratic manner. So it's up to them to, to prove or to show uh, how democratic or how undemocratic uh, they are. And I'm running out of time, but I want you to quickly ask you this. Why do you think we're seeing such a high rise uh, in separatist movements across Europe? Well, actually, it's a positive, uh, it's a positive note. It's uh, maybe because uh, European citizens, we actually uh, feel the trust in democracy because uh, we actually feel Europe is mature enough to cope with uh, democracy and to cope with the will of different nations that uh, they still are with unresolved conflicts, political conflicts. And actually, independence are not uh, negative processes. Actually, the fact is that many of uh, all the independence movements are actually because we want to enhance and we want to empower all our goodwill and all our good resources and good manners to improve and to give better ourselves to, to the others. And to, uh, so it's, it's actually a positive uh, process of independence. It shouldn't be seen as a negative. It's just a reorganizing internally the, the European Union to reorganize ourselves just by the principle of democracy, to resolve 
uh, ongoing conflicts that still are not resolved in the 21st century, and now it's the time to do it. So all European, the fact that there are millions of Europeans like Catalans being even threat to wanting to express our opinion in the ballot boxes is not a grief only for Catalans, it's a grief to all European citizens because it's in European territory that the universal right of self-determination wants to be vulnerated by the Spanish state. Uh, so it's something that it, it applies to all of us. Absolutely. Anna Arque from European Partnerships for Independence, we hear you. Thank you very much for being here on RT International to share your thoughts with us and our viewers.